Now look, we are from Glenville High School. We got a community we got to represent. When people just see you on the football field, they say, well, we got all that talent, and he should win all the time. Go! Go! But it's so much more than that. You're going to be something in life because you know how to listen. You're being coachable and you're being teachable. So I always told you, you can do what you want. The world's in your hands. It's on you. Let's go on three. One, two, three, four. There's a standard that, you know, has to be met, and it's not going to be lowered. When you do good in school, it makes it easier for you out there on the field. I was a wild kid in middle school, so when I got here, it was a lot of structure. You got to follow a lot of grace. You got to listen and have respect. That was the reason why I started this school, is because of the academic side. But as you, like, grow up to the school, like, as you, like, keep moving on, and everybody here to help you, and they really love you here. Welcome to the Monday of the rest of your life. Give yourselves a round of applause. Begin Academy is the first all-male public high school in the city of Cleveland and in the state of Ohio. We started in 2007, now in our 12th year. Go. Go, Kate. The boys are educated here, but they do have the option of playing for the teams in their home high school area. Play football. Good, good, good. If we coach those things up today in practice, I guarantee you we'll win Friday. All right? Let's be great today. It's hot. You'll have plenty of water breaks and rest. We just need y'all to work with us. All right? I believe no other team is tougher than Glenville just because of what we go through. There's a lot of drugs in this community a lot of abandoned homes. It's a lot of shootings, it's a lot of people getting killed, a lot of people you know it. I honestly feel like it's always something we gotta prove every season because no other team in Ohio faces the amount of adversity that Glenville High School does, so we gotta come out with something to prove. Right now, I see one of the main challenges as safety. Some of our kids take two and three buses to come to school. They see a lot of things on their way to school. They see boarded up houses. They see communities that are not thriving. But they walk past all of that to get to get an academy in hopes of enhancing their lives and their families' lives. The Glenville area has been a very tough place to live. Like, they, like the community period is horrible. Like we'd be at practice one time and like they would just start shooting at the field or stuff like that, shooting around the field. And we would have to like lay down on the floor and stuff like that sometimes. So my safe space in, in Cleveland is sticking with the brotherhood we got at Glenville. It's lack stability and it's lack structure. And a lot of our students don't have that until they met Coach Ken. You got to go through so much more to even put them on the field. Come back out this half and put a drive on. As far as football, I win every day. I'm not gonna lose. If you wanna come here and win national championship, state championship, maybe this not, might not be the place for you. We wanna win the kid. We are teaching the core values, teaching them life. I don't really care about a loss because my concept and my intent is not winning the championship, it's winning them every day. But the bottom line is the scoreboard don't determine our destination. And that's, that's real talk. 
he really helps a lot of people to get to the NFL, do good things with their life. He built the school just to help people get out the hood, help people just do better with themselves. If not for Gen Academy, you don't know Cardell Jones. Your Troy Smiths, the Ted Gens, your, your Dante Witness, your Marshawn Lattimore's, Shane Wynn. All those kids are in the NFL, but not for this entity here. You understand? So that we can shield them from all that outside influence. We have had kids in the past that come through there that's on the wrong track. We didn't lost a lot of kids. We have lost several children, uh, including his nephew Diamond. That was a real, that was a real low for everybody. Diamond was was a was a. Um... Coach Ken and Diamond were very close. I think they bonded over more than just football. That's kind of tough to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he never got a chance. He was out, like, just out on a date. And they went, stopped at a gas station to get gas, and he was killed on his way out of the gas station. All he wanted to do was graduate and go and make everybody proud in the family. And, and we always used to fight with him that, damn, we proud anyway, you know what I'm saying? You know, bad things happen, but you can't stop living. Amen. I expect to carry on the legacy of Glimmer football. You're a good team, but you got to be a smart team. And Gill Academy. Coach Gann and I talk about that sometimes. He doesn't want to talk about that. I'll say, Coach, what are we going to do? We can't do this forever. And I think we're cultivating that leader right now. He's left a blueprint for not only me, but others in the community to follow. I and mean, if we continue to follow the blueprint that he's laid out, then I think everything will be fine down the road. How do we make the strongest men possible? And education is the best a vehicle to change that. That's what's next. With a 98% graduation rate, there is hope that there is a way of getting out of the neighborhood. A lot of people might think it's amazing that I could have a vision for people that, that didn't have hope, but I did it with the help of everybody. If you can believe, you can make it. And that's what it's been about.